Hello guys, Joey Vermin here, and yes, I know I do got a tank top on. It, is ex it was extremely hot outside, and uh, I was sweating my ass off. <laughs> I had to mow my lawn all day long. But, you know, if I'm happy about one thing, at least the weather is getting warm, you know. Not that I'm happy right now. Because, as you guys know from my last video, uh, my last review, the Lucifer Valentine. On Facebook, I got in contact with him on Facebook. I, I don't really think I need these. Uh, got in talk, uh, contact with me on Facebook, and uh, he gave me permission to do reviews for his movies. So, today's review will be on Regurgitated Sacrifice. Let's get to it! Okay, so the beginning, uh, pretty much, pretty much, it was kind of really crazy, but, um, the beginning starts out with how, uh, god dang it, I was about to say Amira again, that is the actress's name, but, uh, Angela is just, it, it's like she's doing this recording, right, where she's like, she's telling this person that she loves, you know, that obviously she believes cares for her, you know, even though it's pretty much the sounds of it, you know, he beats her up and, you know, rapes her, but then she's like, oh, okay, I like it when you do that, I like it when you do that stuff. So. Anyway, um, we, uh, we, just, just like the beginning of the first one, it is kind of like a hallucinogenic ride at the beginning. Well, with this one, um, no exceptions, because it does start out, you know, hallucinogenic, like, it shows Mara saying, or, uh, god damn it, it, sh it shows Angela saying all these things, but then, you know, there's this camera, and it's like closing in on her, like, and you know, F, you know you're kind of wondering, is, is this more to her, is the first movie, like the end of the first movie, is it more to her um, hallucinating or somewhat? Because, uh, you know, as you all know in the first one, spoiler, if you did not watch the first one, Slaughtered Vomit Dolls, this is the second in the series, Regurgitated Sacrifice, um, spoiler, if you did not watch that, Angela dies. However, in this one, she comes back and she's like, she's, uh, she's pregnant with a baby. And, I don't know, I was really confused a little bit, but, you know... Maybe it's just part of her hallucinogenic ride as she's, as she go, you know, getting ready to go deeper into hell because, you know, she gave her body to Satan and whatnot. And yeah, that's pretty much, that's pretty much all I can tell you with the beginning. I mean, crazy beginning. So yeah, let's get in more deeper into this movie. Oh man, regurgitate, sacrifice, let me tell you something. This movie, yeah, there's vomit, of course, because... It is the Vomit Gore Trilogy, but this movie was gory. This movie is bloody and gory. It was more gorier than the first one. I mean, yeah, in the first one, you did have, like, you did have the woman, you know, her head just sitting right there, and he's just like, and then the guy comes in, he's like, you know, that part with Hank Skinny, he's in this movie, too. Um... <clears throat> You know, of course, there's gonna be vomit, but damn, this movie is bloody as shit. It's gory too, which I don't know. I kind of like because you know, I'm as you guys all know me with the movies I review. Of course, yes, I will review like maybe some something mainstream, but other than that, when it comes to the most movies I review, it's gonna be like a gory movie. You know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna have any uh, regrets watching them because I already. I already got deep into the underground, uh, you know, film industry, I should say. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> yeah, but this movie's beyond gory. There's a part where... There's a part in, where... Okay, 
If I can't explain to you, watch the trailer. It wouldn't be so much of a spoiler if you watch the trailer to this movie. But what I'm about to explain, let's just say there's some seismies, there's a seismies twins, uh, if, from what I gathered, and, you know, from what I guessed, uh, the, you know, the people who play as the seismies twins, you know, black haired, uh, girls with black hair, they're twins, uh, then they turn kind of a brunette colored hair, uh, I'm gonna say those are the black angels of hell, of course, Amara LaVey is still in this movie, but... I'm surprised she actually didn't show up as much as I thought she would in this movie. I mean, I thought she was going to show up a lot. You know, eventually to the point that, you know, we're going to witness her going into hell. But, no, we, um... <clears throat> no, she only showed up a little bit more. It was more showing, like, you know, hookers, strippers, prostitutes, uh, forced to vomit, uh, getting mutilated, except, especially, like... Like the second to last one. That, if I can spoil what happens to her for you, be careful. Yeah, just be careful. With my reviews nowadays, I tend to spoil shit. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, let's just say she gets torn open, like torn the fuck up open. You know, and you know it. What I love about how Lucifer Valentine does these, like, gore effects? Dude! I don't know who he, hi who he gets to do the gore, but... Dude! Those... That blood and gore looks super uber realistic. I mean... The end? At the end, there was a woman getting her cho a head chopped off, and then eventually she, uh... And, and then they, like, cut open kind of her scalp, and then, like, you know, the, the skull? Open it up, like... You know, it's like that. Then Hank Skinny comes in, and he's just like... Blah, 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 and then, yeah, and then out of nowhere they bring in, the, <laughs> they bring in the uh, the octopus. It's like, blah, you know, just makes him throw up all over the place. You know, and you know what? And again, it's real crazy with these movies. You know why? Because these actors and actresses are puking. It's real puke. They're actually vomiting, and. You know, it's insane, especially, in my opinion, especially with Hank Skinny, it's it's insane that that dude's capacity at vomiting, I swear. Oh, so, in the end, I loved Regurgitated Sacrifice. I mean, let me rephrase that. I loved Slaughtered Vomit Dolls. I will always love Slaughtered, uh, blah, blah, slaughtered Vomit Dolls. But Regurgitated Sacrifice... Holy shit, balls. <laughs> I know that's a really stupid thing to say, but seriously, holy shit, balls. That was awesome. I love, you know, I, you know, people will say whatever they want about me, you know. Yeah, I'll, I'll enjoy the occasional mainstream explosions everywhere and bombs and people, like, with CG blood spraying over the place, getting killed by you know, Terry Crews' freaking AA-12 shotgun. If none of you got what that meant, that was an Expendables joke, because I love that scene. The hallway scene. Anyway. <sighs> but no, um, I, I don't know why, it's just, with me, I always kind of enjoyed these real, s these not well-known movies, but, you know, they, they obviously have an art. Uh, you know, many people look at gore and horror, and, you know, they think, what is this shit? Why does this shit even exist? You know what they didn't have in this movie? They didn't. I, I bet the director in this movie didn't have God with them. Or, or, or. I bet the director in this movie didn't even have a fucking life. Well, let me tell you something. Lucifer Valentine does have a life. And he's a wonderful man. Say what you want about the guy with the movies he's directed. But I got. Let me tell you something. That dude is nice. He is a very nice man. I'm not going to lie. Um, <clears throat> more nice than many of the Christians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actual Christian people are more assholes while Lucifer Valentine is like the nicest guy ever. And because of that, Mr. Valentine, thank you for being 
the nicest guy, and thank you for letting me review your movie. It is a big honor, and I and it's a and it has been a pleasure watching your awesome movie. And I look forward to reviewing your final piece, Slow Torture Puke Chamber. And not even that, A Perfect Shadow of Satan and Black Metal Veins. I look forward to it, and I can't wait to review them. So, oh, to, pretty much to let you guys all know, I'm making this week kind of a week. It's kind of the weekend where I am. Um, <clears throat> I'm kind of making this somewhat of a week of Lucifer Valentine's films. You know, I will, don't get me wrong, I will review, like, you know, other movies. It's just that I want to get, I want to do Lucifer Valentine's films because, you know, he gave me the go-ahead, you know. He's a very awesome guy, he's very nice, and I, I believe he deserves uh, some praise. I definitely give him praise. These movies are awesome. Okay. Before before I get too carried away, just want to say thank you, Lucifer, for um, letting me watch your cool movies, letting me review your cool movies, and I want to thank everyone for watching his cool movies, and everyone for watching this video. I know this video might be pointless, but who gives a shit? Anyway, I better stop before I make this too long. This is Joey Berman saying goodbye, and I love you. See you guys.